Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're back on the 1966 Chevy one-ton dually. So yeah, if you're new, 1966 Chevy cab sitting on a 1973 Chevy dually. Now, this was long, but we've shortened it down, so now we've got a short wheelbase, and it was narrow, but you know what? We widened it out too, look at that. We actually widened out a narrow bed into a wide bed, and so now it fits over our dually wheels, even with factory fenders. So pretty cool. Got a lot of work into this one so far. If you guys missed it, go check out the playlist, man. You'll be glad you did. As for today, we're gonna get in there and see if we can get a little bit more work done on that bed. That's right, we gotta build a structure in there. We have gotta build wheel wells, all kinds of stuff. So you guys hang tight, man. Let's get it all done. I don't want the bed to go be down here and then go up and over our C notch and back down. I like it when the bed is all one level. So what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna cut this stuff, clean it all up. We gotta cut this out for more wheel travel, right? And then I've got some uh, inner fender wells that are gonna go in there. Anyway, enough talking. I'll just walk you through it as we go. So that ought to give us plenty of wheel clearance. So here's the plan. We got some trailer fender wells there. You buy these down at the old tractor supply or what have you. And this is just going to go right in here like this. And we'll have to trim it to fit and everything, but that's how it's going to go. Something like that there. So in case you missed it in a previous video, this truck actually had a big sheet of metal laid into the floor as a bed and they, they just welded it in. I had to cut that thing back out. Yeah, this piece right here, you can actually see where I had to go through and cut this thing out about every six inches or so all the way around. Uh, we can't use this piece anymore. For one thing, it's kind of ugly and rusty, but it ain't wide enough either. The, the plan is, is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna kind of build in a new frame out of some square tubing for all of our wood to sit on when it does come time to put the wood in it and it'll give something for these to kind of fasten to as well. I think these are going to give it a nice finished look when we're done with it. Because it's got this folded over edge right here. What I was thinking is we would go through and drill some holes for spot welds or plug welds and we'll weld it from the inside to this bedside. You see what I'm saying? So no exposed welds. It'll look really nice and seamless. So my original plan was to clean these up, leave them on there, and then I would just sit my square tubing right on top of it and we'll build off of that. Uh, the only problem, I, I just don't like how it leaves that big channel. You see this big gap? It's just gonna collect rainwater. I just don't see that as being very good. So what I was thinking is we'd just go ahead and get rid of this channel here. It's, it's mounted to the bed there and we'll have to cut it off, but it's kind of mangled up. If you look around the bed, you'll see up here, that's just really just all mangled up. So let's just get rid of it. We'll get the old air hammer out. We'll chisel bit on there. We'll get through there and see if we can't break it loose from that bedside. Oh yeah, that came out like butter. So now we'll just clean up the area with our flapper disc here. These things work really nice. Y'all ever seen these? I believe this one will be about 80 grit. Now when we put our square tubing up there, 
sits a lot closer to the side there, you see. And then we could just run a little bead of seam sealer through there. And I think it'll stick and it'll be fine. Everything will work out just right. Still a couple of tack welds on here, hold it in place. Get us a clamp in here some way. There we go. Get us something else going on this end. We'll run us a tack well just like we did the other side, and I think we'll be good to go right there. Okay, so this side's starting to take shape now. You see what we got going on over there? Now we gotta do this side. We usually kind of twist that last one off. There we go. Just like that. Now the very last weld is kind of hit up in behind that, that pipe, so it's fighting me a little bit. We got it out now. That's the last one. Okay, so I think that's gonna work. Let's put another one back here. Uh, let's see, we need one to go from here across to over to there. Okay, so there's that piece tacked in. Let's get another one across there. So now that we got those done front and back, let's go through and let's, let's add a piece running uh, front to back there on both sides. Guys, I have to pardon that welder. It gets a little noisy. So 
something like that there, I guess. So you kind of see there what we're going for. We've got plenty of suspension travel. We shouldn't have any problems there. Uh, everything's going to weld as far as this, you know, it's going to weld to this frame. It's going to weld to the bedside with some some nice little uh, plug welds up inside of there and then of course our wood will sit right on top of this uh, I think it's gonna work out just fine we'll have to close this in I've got some metal that we could put in there well I think it's safe to go ahead and tack weld all this together so I'm going to Okay, so now I've got a couple more pieces I want to put in. Got these right here. And I'm thinking like maybe right here and then another one right here. It got kind of out of the way of this pumpkin here because it needs it needs to be able to travel. So we wouldn't want to put it like right on top of it, obviously. So we'll put one just forward of it and then one, you know, one back of it and one forward of it. I think it'll be perfect. I got this one right here. It will go in right in this area. I think that'll be awesome, dude. It'll be really strong once we put our boards down. I mean, this thing's gonna be way stronger than it ever was from the factory. All right, these are the final ones here, getting them tacked in. And another one back here. Alrighty, let's step back and see what we came up with. Let's set the old tailgate down here. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty clean looking, right? You see right here, this is where the original bed floor would have been. Uh, there's like a step right there that actually steps down and your wood would have set down into that little recessed area uh, what we did is we just built ours up just a little bit you can see our wood will sit up here and uh, that gets us up above where our C notch will be we're gonna have a C notch in here and it's gonna be a homemade C notch cuz you know we don't buy stuff around here <laughs> so whatever we end up with we need the bed floor to sit up higher than what that C notch will be that way we don't have to have a hump in our bed you know like you see sometimes I had to take a quick second to show you guys this. This is awesome. This came in today. Look at this, y'all. Most of you guys are going to recognize this right off. Yeah, y'all know that name, don't you? I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. You guys go check him out. If you've never heard of him, you will be glad you did. This guy, for whatever reason, is watching my channel. <laughs> To me, in my opinion, that's taking a step backwards. <laughs> this, I look up to this guy, man, because he really knows his stuff. And, you know, I, I, in my opinion, I think he's probably forgot more stuff than I'll ever know. Uh, these cars on here that you're looking at, you see that one there? We'll go through some of these. Look at that. These, all of these cars are his that he works on and builds over on the channel. And he does such a great job over there. It's unreal. It is unreal. The amount of work that he puts into these cars and how many of them he has, he has countless. There's just countless of car, cars over there on his property that he works on. This one here, oh, I fell in love with this one. This is like two cars welded together to make one. Really freaking cool, man. I mean, I can't give this guy enough praise. And like I said, I don't know why he watches my channel, but he does, and I do appreciate it. And he sent me this calendar, y'all. Free of charge. Look at that. Got a Fury. Oh, man. This guy's got it all. This calendar is so nice and so professionally done. I can't believe he just gave me one. Look at that. Franker's birthday. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that is the pup that you see in some of these pictures. And it's in every 
one of his videos. Look at the van. That's the boogie van. That is an unbelievable machine. You guys want to see that? Go over there. Check it out. Uh, I believe that one was a, a buddies of his, and he builds it over on his channel. So go check it out. He's got a lot of friends over there, and they all help each other out, and they all have channels. God, look at that thing. That is a beautiful car, isn't it? So anyway, man, I had to give this guy a proper shout out. There's Frankers right there. Taking a ride as always, man. Really cool, very professional. Go get, you guys, go get you one of these if he even has any more left. I could imagine these probably sell out immediately. So I just want to thank Scott over at Cold War Motors for sending me that. And you know, just the idea that you think enough of me to send me stuff like that is unreal. This ain't the first time he sent me stuff either. This guy is awesome, very supportive. And you know, we're building a really good community over here. Uh, I've always said I've got the best subscribers on YouTube, and uh, well, that, that proves it. That guy actually subscribes to me, so awesome. You guys, go check him out, man. Tell him Weird Beard sent you. A uh, really cool dude, man. Yeah, my social circle is tight like a Cheerio. I don't have a whole lot of people, but the people I got are freaking awesome. So at this point, I want to go through and mark everywhere I'm going to put a plug well. We're going to come through here. We're gonna take the fender back off and drill a whole bunch of holes in it, about every six inches, let's say. I mean, I suppose you could go through and just tack weld it from the outside, but it won't look as good. It's worth just taking it off and drilling out the holes. Yeah, this is the part that kind of sucks about all this fabricating. It's the part where you gotta build it and then take it back apart and then build it again and all of that. But it's part of it. Yeah, it'd be a lot easier just to go ahead and just run some welds on the outside. But it won't be as clean, dang it. See, I'm going to go through and finish up all my plug weld holes. Uh, when I get done with it, it'll look just like that one there. Went ahead and made some reference marks all the way around this with my marker. That way when I pull it off, I will know exactly where to grind all my paint off. That way we don't get in here and make a big mess. I don't like it when you're grinding stuff. See, I already did this side. I don't like it when you get in here and you start grinding and you're just grinding this whole big thing because you're not really sure exactly how much you need to take off. Well, do yourself some uh, little reference marks and then you'll know exactly what you need to take off. I don't want to open up too much bare metal. I mean, this thing does have to sit outside sometimes. Uh, eventually, we'll get in here and paint it to match the rest of the truck. But for right now, it's going to sit with bare metal, so you don't want to open up too much. Yeah, the more bare metal that we have, the more surface rust we'll have to sand back off later when we go to do our painting. Okay, both the wheel tubs are in. Everything is ground down. All the plug weld holes are drilled. We're ready to go ahead and get those nailed down. So let's do some more welding. Uh, we'll get those all tacked into place. And then after that, man, I guess it's ready. It's time to just close this, this part in. We'll have to cut our piece out and then we'll officially have finished wheel wells. Let's start right here, how about that? Alright, first plug weld in. Second one. Nice. Alright, that thing's going nowhere. Sorry, didn't mean to drop you guys. Ooh, that was a nice one. Get us a few going on the passenger side. Oh, 
Oh, there ain't nothing like filling up a good plug well. is new with this you're welding up into an area that you can't really see very good uh, just go ahead and just kind of hit the trigger this will light up it'll glow red and it kind of creates a little flashlight and then you can see right where you need to put it in there and, and go at it uh, I need to get my light up in here I can't really see very well but the trick does work it works very well we're gonna weld it through here with some spot welds to tack to the bar. I think that'll make it nice and strong. Yeah, now that it's welded across the back, we'll turn around and we'll come up here and we'll get underneath it. We'll do the same thing. We'll weld the front of it to this bar. And yeah, by the time it's welded front, back, and then all the way around up there. And then remember, once we close this out, that part will be welded to here too. So this thing will be super strong when it's done. We shouldn't have any problem with buzzing or vibrating metal together or any of that kind of stuff. So yeah, that is something you need to consider when you're doing stuff like this. You want to make sure you use uh, strong enough metal, you know, thick enough metal, stuff like that. And plenty of welds because, man, this will turn into something that you won't enjoy driving. You'll be driving around and it's just all buzzing together. And there goes the weld. That welder steals the scene every time. So man, we had just enough left over. I can go ahead and remake that piece now. That's actually the factory piece that we just cut and widened out in case you missed it. You can see there where we spliced that piece in. Uh, I think it'd look a lot cleaner if we go ahead and put this piece in its place. Get rid of that. Let's put a couple spacers underneath here for it to sit on once we cut that out. That ought to work out pretty good. Let's see, let's get one more right here. Something like that. Now we ought to be able to cut it loose. Okay, let's see if I can pull this out of here. Nice, that actually worked out just fine. We'll take the old flapper disc here on the grinder and we'll just kind of smooth up that edge and get it ready for a new weld. about getting our new piece in there. Okay, so let's tack in this piece now. Now this side. Now it is worth mentioning before I tack anything in, obviously we measure everything, make sure it's all the same and square and all that. Obviously, we still need to close this spot up on both sides. And again with the O-flapper disc, let's smooth up the edges. Let's go see if it fits. This should go right down inside of here like this, and then back up through here like this. We just have to go in behind it. There we go. Same thing on this side. There we go. It's gonna go up in there just like that. Wait on that. I ain't gonna work.
Here's the next one. Same thing as before. Just slide it up in behind there. And then we'll run some clamps. Well, check it out. What do y'all think, man? I think it's gonna work. Uh, what we'll do is we'll jack this thing up and pull the wheels off, and then we'll get up inside of there and weld all of this from the back side so that you don't have any visible welds out here, no grinding or any of that stuff, man. That'll make it a lot easier and a lot cleaner look. Obviously, we still gotta build a wooden floor. Now, at this point, you can do whatever you want, man. You can go diamond tread metal. You can do you know diamond plate and all that. You can do whatever you want, man. The sky is the limit. I mean, hell, I suppose we could be cheap and throw the old piece of metal back down in there and then add some to it even if we wanted to. We are on a tight budget, but I am going to spring for some sort of wood in here. I think it's fitting for the old truck. It's what it came with from the factory, and I, I have a feeling we can make it look pretty good, actually. So yeah, still plenty left to do on here. Stuff that we could tackle in a future video. You guys leave me a comment. Let me know what do y'all think, man. Wooden bed, uh, diamond plate. What do y'all think, man? Uh, I personally prefer wood, but I like to hear from you guys. So yeah, we still got plenty left to do. We still need to throw a C-notch in this. We'll do that on a future video as well. As for me right now, I've got a ton of finish welding left to do. So uh, when we pick up on the next video, don't be surprised if I ain't right smack dab in the middle of all that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. I will see y'all next time.